Welcome back to pre-algebra. We are doing section what I'm calling 2.2 plus. It's the green pages in between sections. And it comes after 2.2 before 2.3. And this time we're going to learn about rate. And this is really adding to what I showed you already about um, doing unit analysis, dimensional analysis. So rates are things like 45 miles per hour. How you write that in symbols is you write 45 miles and then a slash hour. That's 45 miles per hour. That Sometimes they do mi for mile and m for meter. So 45 miles per hour. Another one is we have three dollars. And a lot of times with the dollars they put before the three per feet and the symbol for feet squared is an exponent of two. Now, you may write your fraction bar as a slash as long as it's in units. But if it's a fraction, I want a flat fraction bar like that because this is what happens. The students start writing it and it looks like this and in just a skinny minute, it turns into 213. And two thirds is gone and we've got 213 instead. So if it's numbers, I want flat fraction bars. If it's a rate, you can do a slash if you want. All right, so here's the example problem. You want to buy some bananas. You want to buy three pounds of them. And bananas cost $1.19 a pound. So what's the total cost? This is how you do it. First, you write what you, what you know or what you want, three pounds. Then you draw these railroad tracks and you write the same unit that you have in what you know on the bottom and the unit that's going to get changed to on the top. This is our conversion factor. It's $1.19 for one pound. Those two things are equal. So we write the number that goes with the unit. What goes with money is $1.19. And what goes with pounds is one. Now we have pounds in the numerator and denominator, so they cancel out, and we're left with money. Anything on top is multiplied. Anything on bottom is divided. So on our calculators, we do 3 times 1.19 divided by 1, but you really don't have to divide by 1. It equals $3.57. That was our total cost. Okay, here's another one. You're going in a boat that uses 20 gallons a minute. It's an ocean liner. It uses a lot of gas, okay? We wanted a formula for how much it uses uh, for however many number of minutes we plug in. We don't know what the, it is. It's a variable. They're just using T for a minute. But it's the same thing. We put minutes on bottom, gallons on top, because that's our conversion factor. 20 gallons equals one minute. So uh, the minutes will cancel out. Any number on top we multiply, any number on bottom we divide. T times 20 divided by one is 20T, because anything divided by one is itself. If you don't totally get one, that one, that's okay. That one's a little hard for your level. Okay, here's another one. Distance equals a rate times a time. I like it this way. Speed equals distance over time. But the math's too complicated for me to show it to you that way now. You're not there yet, but so we'll just do it their way. All right, so we have a time of 4.5 hours and we have a rate that is 36, we're going 36 miles per hour. So it's 36 miles in one hour. We start by writing down what we know, which is 4.5 hours. We draw our railroad tracks. We put the same unit of what we know on the bottom. And then what we want to change it to, we write on top. We write the numbers that go with those units one goes with hours, 36 goes with miles. Anything on top you multiply, anything on bottom you divide. Hours cancel out because you have one in the numerator and one in the denominator. So we do 4.5 times 36 divided by one and it is 162. And I'm writing it backwards. Let's try again. 
miles will be how far we will go in 1.45 hours on our ocean liner. Oh, this one, that one was a filling up a pool. So read over the examples. Make sure you understand them in your book. See you next time. Math is fun.